hey guys welcome back to my channel this is coach Shawnee so I am gonna be showing you today how to co-wash and how to refresh your mini twists so I've had these mini twists in for about a week and I'm going out of town so I need to refresh them so the things you'll need is a shower cap your spray bottle and your favorite cheap conditioner I am using the VO5 and some hair clips. You will also need a t-shirt for when you are drying your hair. So go ahead. we're just gonna get started right now. I am going to section my hair into four sections. This just makes the process a whole lot easier. Okay, so I'm gonna use the water and the conditioner for each section now. So what you're gonna do is saturate each section with the water. Try to get everything wet without it dripping all over the place. Now you're gonna add the conditioner now as you're doing this whole process what you want to do is just massage your scalp to kind of loosen up any kind of dirt that might be on your scalp just like you would be washing your hair now I tend to do this out of the shower because it's just easier for me the less time I spend in the shower the better so I, I always try to do most of the work outside the shower alright so when you're done with the section just go ahead and do the rest of the section so this is my last section in the back I'm gonna do the same process just spray it down with water and then I'm gonna add the conditioner and you know just scrub my scalp give my scalp a nice massage get the blood flowing to loosen up the dirt all that good stuff Just gonna twist up my hair. Massage some more if you need to add more conditioner if any area still feels dry I'm gonna go ahead and add some more conditioner and then I'm gonna massage my scalp even more and then I just add my shower cap and I'm like I'm gonna let that sit for a while and then I rinse it out with cool water under the shower and this is what it looks like. Now, if 
your hair is dripping, you want to keep that t-shirt handy. Now some of the twists kind of came out, which is fine. The point of this is not to make the, the twists remain neat or anything like that. But you don't want to have to go through the whole process of get the whole process again of parting all the sections. Everything is already parted. So that's all that really matters. So now I'm going to use my 10 in 1 renewing system by Shea Moisture and my castor oil and my tangle teaser and my eco solid gel and a hair tie. So now that my hair is wet, I'm going to of course do the lock method. The water is already in there, the liquid. I'm going to add my oil, my Jamaican black castor oil all over my hair especially those ends I'm going to use the 10 in 1 the hair mask by Shea Moisture and smooth that over the oil. I love this product, you guys. This is probably my favorite product right now. Now when I was doing my hair the first time, when I first installed the twist, that's all I used. I didn't use the Eco Styler Gel. And to be honest, after I did it, I kind of regret added, adding so much of the gel or adding the gel at all. I didn't like how it, my hair really came out. So if you're planning on installing twists, Doing the lock method and using the hair mask is perfectly fine. You don't need gel. Alright, so what you want to do is put your hair in a high ponytail and you're just going to be pulling down each twist to redo them. I'm just going to add more water and the gel. A little bit more of the, the hair mask. Just a tiny bit of gel. Then I detangle with my tangle teaser and I'm going to twist as tight as I can. Now I don't twist all the way to the end. When I get to the end, I just detangle some more of my tangle teaser and I do like finger coils at my ends. Just like that. Alright, so you want to do that over and over again. And now I am so annoyed. <laughs> I didn't realize how long this was going to take, but... I am almost done. I think this took me like a few hours to do. And it's because I had to go in and, you know, detangle and add products. When I first installed the twist, it took me maybe an hour and a half. A 
Okay, so I'm not going to show you me doing the whole front section, but I wanted to show you how I um, how I decided to twist the hair in the front. I usually just twist my hair so it lays to the side, but I decided to twist my hair going back so I could wear it in a ponytail and it wouldn't look weird or bumpy in the front. And it came out really good. I like that. So you want to twist the hair going back instead of down to your face. If that makes sense. And I am finally done. They came out pretty good, but I like how the original, my original twist came out without the gel. Alright, so here are some pictures. That's the back. And the sides, it was really nice and plump and shrunken. It was cute. So I decided to just put it in a bun, and I really like that. That's how I rocked it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.